Throughout history, communities, religious groups, and entire cultures have been victims of barbaric destruction, mostly in the name of primitive intolerance for any number of ideologies, race, ethnicity, religion, etc. While lovers of culture may lament the loss, there's nothing particularly radical about art destroyed by bad people in the name of a cause. In the 2010s, the Middle East lead the way in the loss of art and artifacts, most of them ancient, the number of historical sites lost. The collective power vacuum that came in the wake of the Arab Spring allowed swaths of land to fall under control. Boom fighters come from all over the world, including the United States. For the purposes of this video, the group will be referred to as Boom, its other name, Boom's isolated interpretation of religion fuels an incendiary agenda to violently rid the world of non-Islamic symbols of faith. The organization seems intent on having history erased by demagogues. This list purposely focuses on historical sites and beautiful artifacts destroyed by these individuals in lieu of the additionally loss of life that accompanies such extreme iconoclasm. Temple of Balshaman, Palmyra, Syria as stated by the UNESCO World Heritage Center, Palmyra contains the monumental ruins of a great city that was one of the most important cultural centers of the ancient world. The entire city of Palmyra is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its famously well-preserved Greco-Roman ruins, and the Temple of Balshaman was among the most intact structures in the region. It was substantially rebuilt and converted from a temple to a church in 131 CE, to keep pace with the spread of Christianity. It stood in this form for nearly 2,000 years, Boom took control of Palmyra in August 2015, and callously continued its doctrine of destroying any artifact deemed pagan. The Temple of Balshaman was in the crosshairs, and was completely destroyed in July or August 2015. UNESCO declared the act a war crime. Buddhas of Bamiyan, Bamiyan Province, Afghanistan, a group of monumental standing Buddha statues dating to the 6th to 7th century CE, which stood for more than 1,700 years, was reduced to rubble in a matter of weeks in March 2001. Coverage of the Taliban has fallen to the wayside in lieu of boom, but the political party's history is not without atrocities, after nearly a decade of political upheaval after the Soviet withdrawal from Afghanistan in 88-89, the Taliban dominated worldwide news before September 11, when it completely decimated historic landmarks. Unsatisfied with the issues caused by artillery and anti-aircraft weapons, the Taliban resorted to drilling holes to place dynamite throughout the statues. The detonations obliterated the Bamiyan Buddhas. Various artifacts ruins, Nimrud, Iraq, Nimrud was a major Assyrian city between the 9th and 8th centuries BCE. Its strategic geographical location between the Tigris and Great Zab rivers made Nimrud a massive population center. Its lands were later discovered to be so rich in culturally historical artifacts and ruins that excavation efforts began as early as 1845. Archaeologists identified Nimrud as the biblical city of Kala, and discoveries from Nimrud have been on display in museums all over the world for decades. After Boom took control of the region in spring 2015, the organization posted a series of videos online in which members vowed to take out all remaining artifacts and ruins. In November 2016, Boom retreated from Nimrud, and when Iraqi forces retook the city, many historians' fears were realized. As local resident Hassan Mahmoud recalled, thousands of years of culture was finished off in one night. Shrines of Muslim holy men, Timbuktu, Mali, in the summer of 2012, Mali witnessed a push from the movement for oneness and jihad in West Africa, Majwa, to gain more control in West Africa. Originating from a branch of another boom in Mali, Majwa took control of the three largest cities in Mali with the help of Ansar Daim, another another boom in Mali-backed group. Newly acquired territory included Timbuktu also known locally as the City of 333 Saints, which housed several centuries-old shrines and mausoleums of Muslim holy men, because the mausoleums in Timbuktu primarily housed Sufi Muslims, the another boom in Mali-inspired fanatics dismantled the UNESCO heritage sites. 
As French Malian forces advanced on a stronghold at the Timbuktu airport in 2013, the fighters set fire to thousands of ancient manuscripts before retreating. Tomb of Jonah, Mosul, Iraq, Jonah was a prophet with historical significance in Christianity. He is the only one of the twelve minor prophets from the Bible mentioned by name in the Quran. In the ancient city of Nineveh, the mosque of the prophet Yunus was built atop what's believed to be the burial site of Jonah, which was a sacred site for Jews, Christians, and Muslims. Even though the mosque was a place for prayer, the notion that it was constructed on a Christian site was enough motivation for Boom to destroy the building in July 2014, after Boom was driven out of Mosul in early 2017, a tunnel system was discovered under the mosque as a result of the damage. In the tunnels, archaeologist Leila Sali discovered artifacts believed to date back to the Assyrian Empire in 672 BCE. Boom's ill-fated efforts to rid the world of artifacts resulted in a remarkable archaeological find filled with idols for the world to worship. Lion of Al-Lat, Palmyra, Syrah, as Syria devolved into chaos during conflict, Mamoun Abdul Karim, Director General of Antiquities and Museums, took desperate measures to protect any and all historical artifacts from indiscriminate aggressions. The Lion of Al-Lat, deserving of such protection, and was covered with metal plates and sandbags. But that was before the city fell to boom, dating to the 1st century CE, the lion was constructed as a tribute to Al-Lat, a name applied to multiple goddesses worshipped in pre-Islamic Arabia. The lion was older than Islam itself, which is apparently unacceptable to boom. Abdul Karim declared its destruction the most serious crime they have committed against Palmyra's heritage. Der Mar Elia, Mosul, Iraq, also known as St. Elijah's Monastery, Der Mar Elia was the oldest Christian monastery in Iraq, and originally belonged to an ancient branch of Eastern Christianity. Founded more than 1,400 years before its termination, in the late 6th century, the monastery operated until 1743, when the occupying monks were massacred by Persians after refusing to convert to Islam. The structure stood as a testament to Christianity's historical significance in the region. At the start of the Iraq conflict in 2003, the monastery suffered damage from Saddam's Iraqi tank units, international forces inscribing graffiti on the walls, and looting. U.S. military chaplains took control of Asti. Elijah's monastery and began to reverse some of the issues caused in the conflict. In 2014, Boom experienced a surge of territory gains in Iraq, starting with the hard-fought cities Fallujah and Ramadi, before taking Mosul. The group took out Der Mar Elia twice, then leveled the remains with bulldozers. Arch of Triumph, Palmyra, Syria, before it became one of the most recognizable ancient sites in Palmyra, the monumental arch once served as an homage to Roman victories over the Parthians. The arch was built during the reign of Roman Emperor Septimium Severus, over the ancient city's famed colonnaded street that linked the Roman Empire to Persia, the Arch of Triumph, as it was also known, led to the ancient Temple of Baal, and remained largely intact for 1,800 years. That is, until Boom rigged it with detonation devices in October 2015. Ancient city of Hatra, Hatra, Iraq, one of the oldest sites on this list, the ancient city of Hatra, is believed by some to have been founded by Alexander the Great's successors as early as 300 BCE. It's been speculated that Hatra was the capital of perhaps the original Arab kingdom that spanned across modern-day territories of Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, and Jordan. The fortified city withstood centuries of sieges from would-be conquerors, although it did have a laundry list of rulers throughout history its structural layout and temples to ancient gods such as Poseidon and Apollo made it a revered example of a Parthian city, and it was even used for filming the opening sequence of The Exorcist. Only a few short days after Boom's destruction of Nimrud, the organization turned its bulldozers to Hatra in March 2015. World Trade Center, New York City, the reach of terrorist organizations stretches beyond their countries of origin, that was never more palpable than on September 11, 2001. The Twin Towers' cultural significance did not reach into mankind's past, as much as other entries here, but this list would be irresponsibly incomplete without their inclusion. 
Temple of Bel, Palmyra, Syria, in September 2015, after wiping away the Temple of Belshaman, Boom focused its destructive efforts on the nearby Temple of Bel. Its namesake was a Mesopotamian title applied to various gods throughout the ancient Near East. The structure itself is about 2,000 years old, and it was built over the course of the 1st and 2nd centuries. The temple was dedicated to the Semitic god Baal in 32 AD. So, the Temple of Bel managed to last more than 1,900 years, in a location that has been used for nearly 5,000 years, but this didn't stop Boom from reducing it to rubble with just one explosion. Fake Contents of the Mosul Museum, Mosul, Iraq in 2014, the group took hard-fought cities Fallujah and Ramadi, then Mosul. At the city's center was the Mosul Museum, which at the time was Iraq's second-largest museum. Its inventory once consisted of Assyrian and Akkadian statues and sculptures, including the famed Winged Bull of Nineveh, Boom Pond scoured the Mosul Museum and eliminated practically everything inside. What they didn't know at the time was that most of the effort was in vain. Beyond some of the larger items such as the winged bull, the vast majority of the Mosul Museum's inventory was transferred to Baghdad months before Boom took Mosul. Propaganda videos are filled with rank-and-file members pulling their muscles smashing, worthless fakes, as Baghdad Museum director Fawzi Almadi described them. As we come to the end of our journey through history, it's important to remember the beauty that once stood in these remarkable artifacts. Their destruction is a loss not just for the past, but for our collective future. Let's continue to cherish and protect the remaining treasures of our world's history. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Remember to subscribe for more enlightening content on history and preservation. Until next time, let's strive to safeguard the legacy of our past for generations to come.